Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and healthy because I am not. Um, I was in a hospital for pneumonia for several days, but I am getting over everything that has happened and I'm still here. So I'm creating this video for my sociological theory class for Professor Ross and um, I want to tie in this topic to George Simmel and his ideas because I feel that as our environment is constantly changing, as COVID is rapidly spreading, um, in order for us to survive these changes that have been set, such as um, schools closing, businesses, and city lockdowns, we must be able to respond to these changes. And especially since we've never dealt with anything of this type of magnitude. So I would like to start by saying that George Simmel believed that any detectable change in the environment that causes a reaction is a stimulus. Um, so with the virus going on, I believe that um, Simmel's idea is very relevant right now. Many people around the world had such a blasé attitude because no one understood the severity of this virus until so Many people in our country started to die, and when cities were closing down uh, businesses, such as movie theaters, um, restaurants, gyms, anything that's relevant to us in our lives, no one took it seriously. Um, so this attitude is unique only to metropolitan societies, and Simmel suggests that um, a blasé outlook as a mean um, for those in metro metropolitan societies to retain to their individuality. So in contrast with small rural towns, the way of life is often similar amongst townspeople and everybody shares similar values. So um, we live in a metropolitan society, so our way of life is objective focused, and we all have different objectives we strive for, and we reject the societal objectives that are laid out for us. Um, me personally, I have always had a blase attitude while growing up, and it's because I constantly protect my mind and space at all times for my personal well-being, and I just stay inside of my, bu my bubble. So, but at the same time, this isn't always healthy. Um, in order for us to protect ourselves against the onslaught of stimuli and disruptions, which I must say is coronavirus at the moment, we must avoid developing an emotional investment in what's going on around us and let it consume our whole beings. Um, my mother is a nurse practitioner. All she does when she gets home is come in the house, go to her bedroom, and turn on CNN and watch stories and just everything dealing with coronavirus, she knows. Um, I literally tell her it's fine to check out the number of deaths that are happening each day or which state is getting hit hardest by the pandemic. But we cannot let this take over our minds because at times it can become so unhealthy and that information will be all that we're absorbing when we sit behind the television screens and listen to that information all day. Instead, we have to find alternatives such as going for walks, runs, reading a book, um, finding new things to cook at home, um, enjoying time with our families. Like, we just can't let this information absorb and consume our daily lives. So, um, I just feel that George Simmel's ideas about the metropolitan and mental, um, the mental life is very relevant to what's going on with coronavirus right now. So, yeah. Hope everyone continues to be healthy, and I will hope to see you guys next semester. So.